welcome back a plus fam today i have some good news for you guys all those out there looking to get a apple bottom a teardrop a onion as we call it in chicago um even if you're looking for some sponsorship on social media anything of that nature and especially you athletes for optimal performance i definitely want to show you guys five exercises to get our glutes bigger and more so developed than they ever were most back lower back pain tight hips um, a lot of sedentary people who are sedentary most of the time um, definitely deal with having weak glutes or what we call glute amnesia so we definitely want to take care of that today for our first exercise guys um, we're kind of going to mix uh, the two of them together um, we're going to have to be on all fours so i got me a mat right here all right like i said we want to be on all fours we want our hands directly underneath our shoulders, okay? We don't want them too far forward. We don't want them too far backwards, okay? That's gonna give us wrist issues in the near future, okay? So right directly underneath our shoulders, we definitely want a flat shelf or a flat back, all right? And from here, we're gonna do what we call some kickbacks, okay? So I'm literally, let me scoot over just a tad here. From here, I'm literally just gonna pick this back leg up and kind of just raise my leg up. I wanna go for 10 reps here. Once again, I wanna stay nice and tight in my core, keep a nice flat back, all right? I don't wanna be in debt or too arched, okay? Nice and flat shelf. Once I'm done with my 10 there, I wanna kinda of bring my leg or my knee to a 90 degree angle, and I wanna push up from here. Same thing applies, keeping flat shelf or flat back. Going for 10 reps once again. Exercise two I have for you guys is the clamshell. Okay, once again, we're gonna need to be on the floor, so you might want that mat once again. All right, and I'm simply just gonna lay down here on my side. Okay, I'm gonna use my arm as a pillow here. Okay, and I wanna take my thumb and on that bone right in front of our hip, I wanna place my thumb there. Okay, and then with my last or the rest of my four fingers, I want to grab the top of my butt. All right, and from here, I want my knees connected. All right, I want my feet connected. And I want you to brace your core. And from here, I'm literally just opening up at the knees. You should feel that gluteus medius, or in other words, where my four fingers are, the top side of my butt working. We don't want our hips to start to open. That's why we want to brace our core. We'll go for about 10 to 15 reps here. You should feel that gluteus medius muscle working. Don't go too fast here. Like I said, 10 to 15 reps. Exercise three to get us bootylicious guys out there will be a lateral step up. So we're gonna need a step, all right? So I'm gonna take one leg, all right? In this case, my left leg, I'm gonna put it on top of the step. My right leg's gonna be here, okay? We're gonna place our arms out in front of us, okay? To kind of help us with balance here. And the awesome thing about the lateral step up is it hits our glutes in multiple planes, okay? It's also a low impact exercise. So very capable, anybody can definitely do this exercise, all right? so. Hands out in front of us for balance. Okay, I'm gonna step up. As I come down, I wanna step down with my heel. Back up. Brace your core nice and tight. Back up. Okay, we wanna do about 10 to 12 reps here. All right, and to progress this lateral step up or to advance it a little bit, all right, we're gonna do everything the same, except now we're gonna bring our knee through and we're gonna hold for a one to two count, okay? So hands out in front of us, once again, brace that core, nice and tight, bring through, one, two, down, touch the heel, after one, two, down, one, two, once again, 10 to 12 reps here. Exercise for you guys is going to involve a kettlebell. We can also use a dumbbell as well. We're going to do a goblet squat, okay? And the goblet squat, it basically shows us the patterns of our actual squat, all right? So this is gonna be awesome for our glutes as well. So we're gonna to wanna to take this kettlebell or our dumbbell. We're gonna to wanna to hold it right in front of our chest. Okay, don't rest it on your chest right in front of your chest here, okay? We're gonna go for about 10 to 12 reps, all right? Feet should be about right at shoulder width apart, all right, or right outside your shoulders, okay? And from here, we're gonna literally just hinge and drop our butt and our hips, 
all right? And drive through and bring our hips back through, okay? I always kind of tell my clients, think about your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel, and drive and do those three points, okay? Once again, pull those hips through. To progress or kind of advance this um, goblet squat or this exercise, okay? We want to go about three-fourths the way down, okay? And we kind of want to rock to one side. Kind of rock back, okay? About three to five times there. The fifth and final exercise I have for you guys is the pull through, okay? Um, what we can use for this, um, we can actually use these ropes here. If we don't have the ropes, if we're at home, or if we just don't have access to the ropes, like I said before, we can go ahead and grab a band and use some sort of stable pole, okay? And use that as an anchor, and we can also do this exercise too. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is, I wanna step and make these two ropes go between our legs here, okay? Right in front of our growing area, and we wanna bring this out, okay? Get some good leverage on it, almost to the degree of that we're leaning slightly forward. So by the time we get down, all right, closer to the floor, our knees or ass to the grass, <laughs> excuse me, my French, um, it's gonna allow us to kind of just stand tall without having to overextend or do anything extra in our movement, okay? So from here, okay, I wanna be nice and tight in my core, all right, I wanna hinge at the hips, drop my butt, stand tall. Glutes to squeeze, like I said, we shouldn't have to overextend or do any extra mo motions. Engine at the hip and dropping them. Stand nice and tall. 10 to 12 reps here. Remember, like I said, we don't want to overextend. Okay, now we're going into the back, but we don't want to do that. All glutes, so just nice and tall. A plus fam, to summarize what we went over today, I gave you guys five awesome exercises for those out there looking to win the nicest looking butt award, to win the twerking contest, or like I said earlier, to get sponsored for some type of sponsorship on social media. Um, but all jokes aside, um, especially you athletes out there, like I said, our glutes need to be at optimal development um, to jump faster, to be more explosive, um, and to be at optimal from performance level for your sport, okay? Um, to go over those five exercises, First, we started with our kickbacks and we progressed that to what we call like a donkey kick. Um, and then we went to our clamshells where we were on the ground. Um, then our third exercise was a lateral step up. Our fourth exercise was a goblet squat. And then our last but not least exercise was the cable pull through, okay? On each of these, we wanna go for at least three sets, about 10 uh, reps, 10 to 12 reps on each uh, exercise <laughs> definitely don't forget to like and subscribe definitely leave any comments or questions below if there's any specific content you want to see i got plenty more where that came from um and like i said definitely stay tuned for more content Come as you are.